Hi, this is Amy from the Alti Store. I'm here with Jared and Stefano from Blue Sky Energy. Hi. And we're going to talk a little bit about their solar charge controllers and how to decide which of the products is the right product for you. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. So we've got both the, the Genesun and the Blue Sky. And we did talk about uh, in, in the previous video how uh, they are the same company now. Yep. And so can you just give me an overview of, of how, um, some of the features of the products and, and um, what, what ones are uh, great for what? Yes, sure. Um, for Genesun, it's very easy to uh, select the right product. Uh, for any application. I mean, you all you need to know is the PV power from the panel and the battery voltage. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the GVB Boost, uh, that is like, a great product because of its uh, unique performance characteristic. Uh, GVB Boost means boost or increase the voltage from a small PV panel, maybe 12 or 20 volt nominal voltage, or sometimes even less with uh, some just few uh, cells mm -hmm. for charging battery up to 36 or 48 volt. Which is different from most MPPT charge exactly, controllers. Exactly. Most can go from high to low, but exactly. very it's a few down. Go from low to what up. we do is uh, going up, step up the, the voltage. And uh, I think application like uh, golf cart mm -hmm. or uh, drone solar aircraft, where we don't have enough uh, room on maybe on the roof on the on right. the golf cart or on the drone uh, for a big panel, yeah. but we still need to run maybe equipment at 48 to 36 volt. Yeah. So uh, this product is a perfect because can run a small power to, for charging a battery up to 48 volt. Right. And and we did a video um, earlier uh, showing that exactly. actually working. So yeah. you, you can watch that, that video here. Yeah. And uh, the amazing thing that uh, the GB Boost do that can do that with uh, high efficiency. Mm. I mean, uh, like uh, 98%. That's incredible. incredible. <laughs> and uh, that's also why, because all the Genesan charge controller has uh, a great feature, so like uh, uh, a great MPPT tracking mm -hmm. that it makes uh, the product the fastest on, on the market. And we are talking about 15 times per second. Mm. And this is extremely fast. Right. And right. Uh, I think application where it's important uh, capture the much the most power as possible from the panel right. in condition where maybe we have a variable uh, condition. So for, for <laughs> yeah, instance, like a, in a sailboat. Right? Sailboat, yeah. maybe yeah. you have uh, the sail that make a shade on the, right. on the panel. Or, right. or leaves overhead that are yeah. know, moving across yeah. the panel. Or even, you know, we, we deploy a lot of these in um, the Arctic, actually, and in ah. science research mm -hmm. facilities, yeah, whether yeah, doing yeah. weather stations or instrument stations yeah. in in environments where you're getting a very low angle of light. Right. So yeah. you're not getting a lot of light during the day and you've got to maximize exactly. what you're getting out of yeah. the panel. Yeah, like I mean, in the city, like a park meter system. Parking meters, oh, things yeah, like that, yeah, where maybe yeah. you're partially shaded by another building some, yeah. right. some yeah. part of the day, right. things like that. So. And so these tend to be smaller and more dedicated one charge controller per solar panel. Yep. Yeah. So even if you have variable shading uh, across the multiple solar panels, they're going to be managed separately, so you're not going to have Right. Shade from one affecting the other because they manage separately. Yep. A lot so. of our customers um, run a GV10 on a sailboat yep. with maybe four panels and yep. they'll have four GV10s right. because at any given moment, depending on the pitch and the yaw of the boat yep. or right. where the sail is, where the right. boom is, um, each panel is going to be experiencing a very different profile right. from the sun. So each controller is going to maximize from that panel yep. um, and, and serve as much power as it yep. possibly can. I mean, these are optimized for that kind of installation. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. nice. And they're set it and forget it. I mean, there's no buttons, there's no moving parts. Yes. Everything's marine grade. Yeah. Um, and the boost that we mentioned uh, that you profiled for the golf cart does come in a fully waterproof potted version. Nice. Yes. Um, and, uh, and we mentioned earlier, I think, not today, but a lot of times for our customers, but it's a new thing, doesn't reflect on these samples, but they're FCC certified now. Oh. So for customers who are running, um, you know, radios nearby or shortwave and they need as guys. little interference as possible yeah. from um, their controllers, which can be quite loud, we yes. realized these yeah. have at least been cleared. Um, they're not they're not completely muffled. They're not. Right. They're not dead silent, but they do pass the FCC um, yeah. noise that, tests. That's so. good to know. We we have a lot of ham guys. 
Yes. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, so these are, we have a lot of customers who use the GB5 and even yeah. the GB4, which is another yeah. smaller uh, controller for, yeah. for right. those applications. Right. And now you had said it's, uh, the, they're not configurable, so you would buy the correct one for your application. So yep. you've got different battery voltages and different battery types. Yes. And especially in lithium, we offer a few different flavors or varieties of um, settings for mm. different, uh, whether it's lithium cobalt or lithium iron phosphate, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, you know, four cell, three cell, different many variables, yeah. yeah. But we do offer custom charge setting, which comes in handy, especially with the boost. Yes. Uh, where, and a boost lithium, for instance, if you're running a larger lithium battery and want the boost, lithium is a very, very different relative <laughs> to lead acid batteries. So um, we do offer custom um, firmware for those that can run uh, you know, pretty much anything within a range, a pretty broad range. Terrific. Yeah. And so you've got the boost that changes the voltage, and then you've got the the non-boost. The non-boost, yeah. Just <laughs> that, the, that is standard, just kind the of standard the standard 12 to 12. Yeah. And depending on the, you know, the 10 is for like a 10 amp right. system, 5 for 5 amp, et right. cetera. Yeah. So. And so the 10 amp is good for up to how many watts? About 140 watts. Okay, yeah, on great. Those. Yeah. Great. All right. And um, so then over to the blue sky. Yeah, the blue sky, uh, like in this case, we have uh, our 3000 high, mm -hmm. and uh, we see it came uh, with or without the, the bo uh, mounting box mm -hmm. that may be also perfect for uh, installation, like a uh, flash, flash mount. yeah, yeah. mounting. And uh, in this case, this is a charge controller up to 450 watt peak. Okay. And uh, we have a display on board. Mm -hmm. So That's nice. that make it uh, fully programmable. And also for lithium batteries, because uh, you can set all the different parameters of the system. So mm -hmm. voltage, DOD, discharge of the battery, uh, threshold for bulk absorption, for mm -hmm. three-stage profile charge controller. And that can be configured right <laughs> from there or yep. via the... the exactly. 3000i okay. and the 3024 DIL are, are programmable, fully programmable. Just a on stand the, on the face. Oh, that's yeah. terrific. Yeah. And and this is MPPT. Yes, okay. yeah. we have sure. we have exactly one controller that is not <laughs> SC30 PWM, which um, we actually love, which has performed in not our testing but customer testing better than a lot of MPPTs on the market. Yeah. So yeah. we love that product as yeah. well. And yeah, that's nice. exactly the same size as the 3000i. So if, if one fit, it's a this is a little deeper, but um, if if you have a if you have a SC30 now and you want to upgrade, this will pop right into the same yeah. spot. What the great thing is about these controllers is they're all networkable. Yeah. Um, up to eight controllers, yeah. oh, master nice. slave configuration, and programmable and monitorable with the IPN Pro Remote. Um, we hear a lot from customers these days that you want data. Everyone wants data mm -hmm. about, and it's, data is king right now. And we, ha we offer and have offered um, a very robust data uh, capture and reporting network um, plays well with our universal communications mod yeah. module, our UCM, yeah. which is essentially a server in a box, which you can set remotely. It'll collect the data for you, and you can go collect it, or you can put that on, on uh, with an Ethernet connection and access it from the web. Nice. Um, but it's very customizable, very programmable. Um, and as Stefano said uh, in our other video, it's they're they're great for solar lighting, yeah, RVs, RVs, um, rural electrification, rural, yep, um, or oh, whatever we need data from right. the system, right? Yeah. And so with up to eight network together, yeah. that's yes, that's exactly. a, a decent size yeah. array. Uh, also for different charge controller, I mean mm -hmm. we can put yeah. in the same network the SB three thousand high mm. with our SB thirty twenty four, yep, or twenty five twelve fifteen twenty. Yeah. Right. You know you can you can uh, pick and choose depending on maybe you have. Maybe you have a network or a system, a solar system that is growing over the years, yeah, and exactly. you've got some panels that are slightly different. Yeah. Or you've got, you know, you've got well, a, panels a, in different positions. Right. Panels in different right. positions, and maybe yeah. some are a little larger than the others, especially yeah. now. Um, and you want, you don't want to scrap the whole thing and buy yeah. a whole new one. You can just 
add on and uh, and and keep it going. Make and it they'll a little communicate bigger. with each exactly. other, and, and there's no one 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 with a higher voltage confusing no, the no, others. Exactly. Everything's going to work. All the charge like. controller works as a one unique charge Beautiful. controller. Yeah. yeah, and and we had done a video also showing the the negative effect of mismatched solar exactly. panels. Exactly. Exactly. So this this is a, a terrific solution because yeah, exactly. these are very very affordable. Yeah. Uh, and so you're not going to break the bank by having to do multiple of them. Yeah. So, and it yeah. could and it could be a way, you know, to like we talked about Genesis and controlling different panels and different yeah. yeah. you know, different exposures. Um, and all of that can be programmed with the with the Pro Remote or the UCM. Um, and we've got if you're interested in the Pro Remote, we've got a very long chaptered video <laughs> ah. on our website uh, blueskyenergyinc.com oh, terrific. about uh, all of the every single menu and feature of the Pro Remote and all the different ways you can customize Oh, excellent. Uh, and program. Excellent. We'll, li we'll link to that video, too. Yeah. That, that's great. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, You're gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All Thanks right. for having us. I'm Amy from the Altis store. And um, if you like this video, give us a like and a share. And be sure to subscribe to our, our Altis store channel so we'll notify you when we've got new videos coming out. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.